Breaking, Obama freaking out after who was just called to testify against him. The acts of treason being exposed from the gutters of D.C. don't really shock us anymore, but they don't seem to be slowing down either. The swamp rats are plentiful, and unfortunately for them not very smart. Now that there is an administration that actually cares about truth, justice, and the American people, things seem to be just falling into public view that for years have been heavily masked over and hidden. The irony of it all is that it has all come out due to the pathetically planned witch hunt against Trump concerning the fake Russian collusion. Each person that was somehow connected to that entire farce of a ploy has been and will continue to be exposed for what they really are. Recently, another one of the less than upstanding government employees has been not only exposed but demoted and stands to lose his job entirely. Bruce Orr a high-ranking Justice Department official is in some deep trouble for his connections to the company that created the false dossier against Trump, and it isn't looking good for him at all. It doesn't help that he can also be heavily connected to the Obama scandals concerning supplying weapons to terrorists as well as looking the other way during the high drug trafficking of Hezbollah that Obama seemed to just not notice during his eight years. Now or is facing having to testify against his good buddy Obama and it won't work out well for either. The highly ranked Justice Department official who was demoted last month for failing to disclose his meetings with the firm behind the Trump-Russia dossier just received another demotion. According to Fox News, Bruce Orr has been stripped of his title as the head of the Organized Crime Drug Enforcement Task Force. Prior to that, Orr was removed from his higher position as an associate deputy attorney general. He is also scheduled to testify before Congress on January 17 about the dossier and anything else he has failed to disclose. Advertisement Or has come under fire for failing to disclose that he met with Fusion GPS, the leftist firm who hired British spy Christopher Steele to compile the dossier during the 2016 election. The dossier which was partly funded by former Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton's 2016 presidential campaign and the Democratic National Committee, was full of salacious claims and the FBI has admitted it cannot verify. Clinton's campaign and the DNC paid nearly $9 million for the discredited dossier, which raises questions about why top officials at the DOJ, like Orr, we're involved in promoting the dossier and using it to trigger the investigation into alleged Russia collusion. The dossier was likely used, in part, by former President Barack Obama's Justice Department and FBI to obtain a FISA warrant last year to spy on Trump and his former campaign members. In addition to that, Nellie H. Orr, wife of Bruce Orr, worked for Fusion GPS which was also not disclosed to the proper channels and only uncovered after the department conducted an internal investigation into Bruce Orr's shady connection to Fusion GPS and the dossier. Nellie Orr has written and reported extensively on Russia and investigators confirm that she was paid by Fusion GPS through the summer and fall of 2016. It is unclear where Orr has landed in the department. But being stripped of two positions in less than a month signals that Sessions may actually be draining the swamp. Veteran F has recently reported on the very same Obama cover-up of the Hezbollah investigation. Several days ago, shocking new information surfaced about Obama's unbelievable acts of treason. Undeniable evidence emerged showing proof of how Obama worked hand-in-hand -hand with ISIS terrorists to secure massive amounts of weapons to their terror group. Just several days later, Alarming information was revealed proving that Obama also turned a blind eye to Hezbollah's drug trafficking and money laundering operations in order to appease Iran and ensure that his Iranian nuclear deal would be finalized. Now breaking reports of another Obama scandal is blowing wide open involving the former president's disturbing ties to a Taliban crime ring that is so alarming that Trump's generals are proclaiming that the gloves are off. As the head of Akhdif, or was also lead Project Cassandra, the investigation that tracked a massive international drug and money laundering scheme run by the terrorist group Hezbollah. 
The project was exposed by Politico a few weeks ago detailing how former President Barack Obama's administration covered up a major investigation by the DEA into the terrorist group smuggling drugs into the United States. Some argue Obama's team didn't hamper Hezbollah's drug trafficking operation because it could have harmed the Iran deal given the Iranian regime supports Hezbollah. Fox News reported that Aura's role in Project Cassandra is being personally reviewed by Sessions as it could be another major cover-up exposed from the Obama administration. Aside from the project, the dossier has lost all credibility as the opposition research funded by Clinton was nothing more than an anti-Trump hit piece. If the dossier was used for either of these things, which it probably was, we are arguably talking about one of the biggest scandals in modern political history. The American people deserve to know the truth, and Sessions may very well be on his way to busting this thing wide open. Not much more needs to be said after that. The game is on, and the stakes are high. Obama doesn't stand a chance.